When I was in graduate school, I, um, I was making these uh, uh, live events that were very much centered around the objects. So I didn't really feel like, I, and I still don't feel like I'm a performance artist. I, I always felt like the sculptures were the performers. So I just started calling them performance sculpture and I was more like a stage hand, just basically would help the thing do what it needed to do. I started pursuing the, the objects as works of art that would then produce another and that's where the kind of the events evolved as well. I go kayaking and canoeing and hiking and I look for objects. I'm a collector of objects. I find them and they might have interesting form and for me interesting form shows its movement. It's, it's a static object but it, you can see where it had been moving like a branch is reaching out to find light or a root that's burrowing to find water. It, it, I see it in motion. I find the beauty in the objects and I just want to draw attention to them. I think there's reverence in the object and what it has gone through. And so I don't cut down trees, I don't kill animals, but I will use parts. It's kind of like a, a recontextualization of, of the, the object to put it into a, a give it new life, breathe a different kind of life into it. So place is very important to the content of the work in a lot of ways where I'm coming to a place with ideas. The place finishes the idea. It makes it, which is important for site specificity, it, it, it makes it part of that environment. So it's not like a plop art kind of thing, but rather the place will inspire the outcome. Transformation is a huge component of what I look for. And I try to make this transformation from the industrial to the naturally formed object seamless so it just kind of melts into it. Fire has a power in a lot of ways. It's, it's fascinating in its creative yet destructive capabilities. There's a duality in that force, as there would be in, in water and air, but it's, it's aggressive in a lot of ways too. So it's, it's got a strength to it that is attractive. To me, it offers a, somewhat of an explanation as to what we're doing here, why are we here? It's a big question. I try not to ponder too deeply because, you know, I'm just a sculptor. <laughs>